Welcome in to the show. I'm Seamus, the spirit sipper, and we're going to be talking today about a little place called Martell's Tiki Bar. Martell's Tiki Bar is exactly what it sounds like. It's a tiki bar located in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, on the boardwalk, going out to the beach. Very good location. Part of Jenkinson's Boardwalk, which was opened in the very early 1900s, sometime around 1920. I didn't do the research. but It's not exactly a craft cocktail joint. These aren't gonna be super nice. I picked three drinks that I think are somewhat interesting. And we're gonna try to make them. First one on the list is probably the most straightforward one. That's gonna be blueberry lemonade, which calls for three olives, blueberry vodka, and pink lemonade. I don't have three olives blueberry vodka. I've never even heard of three olives vodka. So I have Vail blueberry vodka. I have not tried this. So I don't know if it's good. Give it a little schmidge here. Wow. That tastes like blueberries, all right. I think the only way to interpret this is to make it a highball. So we're gonna throw in our two ounces of blueberry vodka that tastes very much like blueberry vodka. It smells just like blueberries. Let's do a little smell comparison. Okay, well, blueberries don't actually smell like anything. That was dumb. But, okay, come to think of it, this tastes nothing like blueberries. But it tastes like, like the candy blueberry kind of blueberry. I think it's good, though. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, we got our two ounces of blueberry vodka, and we're going to finish her off with some pink lemonade. Gonna give her a straw, get a lemon peel. Let's take a couple blueberries, put on a blueberry, maybe two. There we go. We got a nice little garnish there. See how it is. Uh, that's actually like, that's actually like really good. It tastes exactly what you think it tastes like. It tastes like blueberry lemonade. It doesn't necessarily taste like the pink lemonade. Like pink lemonade has like a very specific flavor. I don't really know what it is because it's not lemons necessarily. It's like sugar. Anyway, it doesn't really taste like pink lemonade. It tastes like the flavor of this vodka in lemonade form. I would actually drink this. And I'm talking like unironically like, and I like this. I'm. Really curious to know what it tastes like using the three olives vodka. But uh, if you have access to Vail blueberry vodka, this is perfectly, perfectly acceptable. So the next one is going to be the Captain Teddy. Captain Teddy is described as Captain Morgan spiced rum, Malibu coconut rum, Myers dark rum, topped with orange juice and a splash of grenadine. So we're gonna start with one ounce of Captain Morgan, and then we're gonna use a half ounce of our other ingredients. So we're gonna use a half ounce of the Myers Dark and a half ounce of the world-renowned, one-of-a-kind Malibu white rum with coconut liqueur original. We're gonna top the rest with some orange juice and a splash of grenadine. Uh, I am once again using Rose's Grenadine because I cannot imagine that they are using anything except for Rose's Grenadine at Martell's Tiki Bar. You're just going to use a cap full because I don't want to overpower the drink. I was going to give it an orange garnish, but it might be too big for my glass. All right, there's our half of an orange right in the glass. Captain Teddy, let's see how it is. It's interesting. I'm tasting more of the dark rum. No, that's a lie. Okay, so when you first take a sip, I'm picking up the dark rum right off the bat. As soon as it hits your tongue, you're tasting that dark rum, and then you're getting hints of like orange throughout. I gotta be honest, I didn't think this was gonna taste good. When I really sat down to get the ingredients together, I was like, there's no way this is gonna be good, right? Uh, no, this is kind of good. All right, so the next drink on the menu that I decided to pull is the Mai Tai. Why did I pull a Mai Tai? Mai Tai is super basic. Well, I thought that the ingredients were interesting. 
This Mai Tai, the Martell's Mai Tai, if you will, calls for Bacardi light and dark rums, pineapple juice, orange juice, and a splash of creme de noya. Well, um, then I sat down to try to figure out how this would be made, and I changed my mind. I have made this drink hundreds of times, and I have not made a single version that I am happy with. Why am I putting it in the episode if I'm not happy with it? Well, because I committed and I bought the ingredients and now I'm gonna do it. So, we start with the rum because that's easy. We know we're using both light and dark rums, but we know that we're gonna use amaretto in place of syrup. So, I'm going to use two ounces of rum. So I'm going to use two ounces of liquor. I'm gonna use two ounces of alcohol. So we're gonna put an ounce of Bacardi Superior Silver Rum. Then I'm gonna take my silly little handle of Bacardi Gold, and we're gonna somehow try to take this huge gaping hole on top of the bottle and pour a half of an ounce. I think I got it, but I think I poured too much, it's fine. It's fine. So the menu says it's a splash of creme de noya. Somehow, my total wine does not have creme de noya. So we're, I'm just working with amaretto here. So they say a splash. I'm not gonna try to figure out what a splash is. We're just gonna do a half of an ounce of amaretto. It's gonna bring us up to two ounces of alcohol. So now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with our silly little fruit juices. And honestly, the only thing that I can think to do that makes any sense is to just equal the alcohol. You know, similar to what I did in the chilies video. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do an ounce of pineapple and an ounce of orange juice. This is a cloudy liquid. All right, now we're gonna shake her up. We're gonna take my glass that's much too nice for this and give her a nice brick of ice. I should probably be garnishing this with pineapple, but I may or may not have forgotten to buy the pineapple, so we're gonna use orange again. There's orange juice in the drink, it's fine. The Martell's Mai Tai. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna be honest, I. I only smell amaretto. It smells, it smells like, and I'm sure the, it smells like if you poured amaretto into orange juice, and I'm sure that's because I'm smelling the orange garnish. But, you know, considering I only used a half ounce of Disarano, that is a lot of amaretto smell. But let's see if it uh, tastes like amaretto. It tastes like, no, it tastes nothing like a Mai Tai. That's weird though, that it smells like amaretto but it doesn't taste anything like amaretto. Yeah, I, um, it's just, this is just not it. I have to believe that this is somewhat like what they make. Actually, I take that back. What they're making at the actual bar, considering the fact that it's a nightclub and their other drinks are just like, let's pour our ingredients in all willy nilly and then hand it to the person so they can get drunk and spending money. Uh, they probably use more juice. It tastes more like pineapple, I would say, than orange, but they're just gonna overpower the rum if you put a bunch of juice in there. And number one, it's not gonna be a Mai Tai because nothing to do with a Mai Tai. I mean, it's already not a Mai Tai. I bet if I got the actual recipe from Martell's, it would, it would call for like four to six ounces of juice. So I don't really like this. And on that note, after I just went on that whole rant, I'm gonna make it again but I'm gonna make it the way I think it should be made, and that is, I'm just gonna take the same ingredients and I'm going to make it what it wants to be, which is juice with rum. I said I think they make it with a bunch of juice, and it and it, the, the only way that I can think to make this recipe not be awful is to add a bunch of juice. So let's just let's just do that. So we're gonna put three ounces of orange juice, three ounces of pineapple juice. This might be a little much, honestly. We could probably cut this in half. Uh, we're gonna stick with one ounce of Bacardi, half ounce of the dark rum. 
It's so hard to pour from this stupid thing. And then the amaretto, I'm going to make it three quarters because I thought it kind of got lost in the sauce in the last one, but I also don't want to make it overpower the drink. So I'm going to call it three quarters. Now we're going to shake this monstrosity. I'm going to whip out my nice little hurricane glass for this one. That is a perfect amount of liquid for the glass. <laughs> Without making it complicated, we're going to also just give a nice little, little orange wedge. Martell's Mai Tai Punch is what I think it should be called. Because this is like, you know, it's going to taste like juice. But let's let's see how it is. Um, I think I might have ruined it. <laughs> it just tastes like juice. Um, I'm not really picking up the rum anymore. Um, when you first take the sip, it tastes like juice. And then I'm picking up a little bit of amaretto at the end. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if this is better. Let's do a, let's do a comparison here. Not good. I think this is bad. <laughs> let's just, I think that is bad. This is better. This is what the drink wants to be. It wants to be a bunch of juice, an obnoxious amount of juice. It wants to be like way too much juice. This set of ingredients does not want to be a Mai Tai. So I will go so far as to say this is better. If you want to just mix rum with a liquid, instead of putting it with juice in a weird combination, you should probably just, you know, put the rum in the Coke or put the rum in the orange juice like we did with the other drink. That This is not, this is the Mai Tai thing. This pretend Mai Tai is not the answer. I don't want to say that this is necessarily a good cocktail because it doesn't really taste like a good cocktail. Is it tasty? Yes, but that's because orange juice and pineapple juice are tasty. If I was going to make this again, I would probably say you can cut the juice at least an ounce. You probably put two ounces of the, each juice and call it good. Um, Three ounces of each juice might have been a little bit too much. This is not something that you would serve at a restaurant. Not good. Shouldn't exist. It's all I got from Martell's Tiki Bar. If you like watching me make a fool of myself, poorly describe drinks, and make abominations, then uh, consider subscribing to the channel or liking the video, perhaps. Uh, I'm the Spirit Sipper. This has been a video that exists.